Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's a Thursday morning. We're live, large and in charge on S3 with Expresso. Now, he's been in the industry as a comedian for over two decades now. And he's now unofficially and officially recognized as the leading Kosa speaking Jewish leg spinner turned comedian of Lithuanian descent. It is Nick Robinovitz, ladies and gentlemen. He's here in the studio. Yes, woo! In the, in the, in the background there. You're right to do that. Come Thank on. You. More Thank woos. you. More woos. More woos. Woo! The hilarious Cape Town born comedian, actor, and writer is joining us uh, this morning to chat about his latest show, Unmuted. You might have seen uh, some of the posters while driving along the highway here in the southern suburbs of Cape Town. And uh, to talk all things post pandemic. And it's great to always see you, Nick. I'm always, whenever, whenever I see you, I wonder what, what's going on in Nick's mind right now. How are you? Right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, right now, right um, now. I'm thinking that I should go and listen back to the show before I do it tonight. Because tonight is night one. Tonight is night one. Yes. And I'm also thinking, it's nice to see you. I haven't seen you for a long time. Yeah, last time I saw you, we were playing, we were playing cricket against each other. Oh, that was... Right? That was a while ago. That was intense. Yeah, and you, you, you beat us. You we were, did. You were absolutely phenomenal. And there was a look of devastation in your eyes. Did you recognize you it? pretended it wasn't there. <laughs> The cameras is that? Yeah. Oh, thanks, thanks. Well thanks, played. Well played. Mina's like, <laughs> seven guests, you gotta help. <laughs> <laughs> now you guys are a phenomenal team, and you and your phenomenal team that you've been working with as well, bringing about a new show tonight at the Baxter, isn't it? It's at the Baxter Theatre, yeah. Seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, and it's called Unmuted. It's called Unmuted. Let's talk about the show a little bit. Well, do you want to? Because I would really could bring to. up PTSD from the pandemic, which is, I think, actually how I processed all my trauma. Yeah. I just wrote a show. And what was kind of the, the biggest motivating factor? Was it being away from the circuit? Because a lot of comedians talk about having to perform in front of camera um, on those, hey, come and host this thing for us, and then you have to tell your jokes to a camera. You don't have the live interaction. Did that yeah, I think it was, you? I think it was uh, wanting to get back and do something new yeah. because you can stagnate and feel stale mm -hmm. as a comic, but also wanting to process what happened. Like, yeah. uh, for myself, we went through all this stuff. There was so much content. I was writing things down, but without an avenue to actually express them. Absolutely. To unmute myself, so to speak. And, and this is it. Yeah. How did the, the pandemic affect your, your family life? I mean, you're a dad of three, right? Yes. And uh, did you find yourself a bit more kind of like, obviously, you, you, the living quarters, you, you're there at home a lot more, yeah. um, not on the road as much. How's that been going? Well, you had a small child who's now a big child during lockdown. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> uh, my youngest was three during lockdown, so it was kind of Groundhog Day, wasn't it? Yeah, With Small yeah. children, it was like, can I watch Peppa Pig? But you just watch Peppa Pig. I want that Peppa Pig! <laughs> can I uh, have a treat? You've had five treats. I want that treat! <laughs> uh, can I watch some more? You've had enough screen time. I remember once saying to her, you can have more screen time tomorrow, and she said, it is tomorrow! today <laughs> and then from outside I heard shut up which is weird because I thought that's either my wife the neighbors or, or the they've neighbors. invited Peggy Taylor over for a bride <laughs> <laughs> shut up shut up shut up and it turned out to actually be the neighbor <laughs> who just had enough of you and your enough. children just and arguing about it and I was like it. upset with the neighbor but then I realized actually my kids had shut up so I took them the next day three bottles of wine <laughs> and then the day after, I looked on the internet and I was irritated because those three bottles of wine had a street value of approximately 1.2 million rand. <laughs> Just lost opportunities. Yeah. Blame it on the kids. One uh, but there's so much that we've actually wine. forgotten uh, from that time as well. What, what do you remember most fondly? I remember most fondly standing in Woolworths and the woman in front of me uh, being on her phone saying, my Coke dealer can hook you up with a case of Chardonnay. What? <laughs> Premium grade, top notch. You a roast having... chicken? No, no, that's illegal. Can't get you that. <laughs> Clearly, you hang around different kinds of. Also, we've forgotten views. like the other stuff that happened. We we had an earthquake in Cape Town in 2020. This is also true, but that kind of seems to have drifted by the wayside in the wake of. People in yeah. Bloberg were on Twitter going "Yarram shuk," <laughs> and then Abeja. Port Elizabeth yeah. changed its name. Remember that? Yes, exactly. That was a also big. That was a big. Especially to all the people who are doing weather forecasts. Oh, the weather forecasts were like, oh my God, how much more oppression must we? We do you know we can't make that sound? <laughs> Q burger, <laughs> and that was just the Model C Costa speaking <laughs> weather forecasters. So the show is going to be amazing. It starts off tonight uh, for the next three nights, um, and you'll be talking about everything that you've gone through, everything that we've collectively gone through, and hopefully finding. 
finding a, a point of relation, yeah? Would you Hopefully, say? yeah. Unmuted. I think so. Unmuted. Why the name unmuted, by the way? Well, it was a reference to having to do Zoom shows in the beginning. Right. And nobody knowing what the hell was going on. Hello? I remember doing these bingo nights for old Jewish people. Hello, Rabbi, can you hear? I don't know where the unmute button. Where's the unmute button? I don't know what's... Cheryl! <laughs> Check it out tonight, Nick Rabinovitz on stage, unmuted at the Baxter from the 17th to the 19th of November. Great to see you, Nick.